Uh, my name is Tristan Kane. I'm 18. I'm from Southwick, Massachusetts. And this year's theme was love, so I built a bald eagle with the babies, and it's called Motherly Love, and it just fed them some salmon. And it's a uh, power function run, so the remote goes to an IR receiver, and there's two motors. One runs the head back and forth, the other one makes the beak open and close. And the inside is a Technic frame, and all the plates snap onto the side. And the feathery looks from a bunch of 1x8 black tiles that are like uh, layered and staggered. And then there's the legs are Technic beams that go all the way up into the body, down into the perch. There's four pins holding it on. You pull those out, the bird will come off the perch. And then the three bases of the perch go into the big base, and that's what keeps it from falling over. Gotcha. So this is a really nice build here. What was your inspiration for it as far as how did you decide to build this? Uh, two years ago for Brick Fair, the theme was birds, so I built a toucan, and uh, it, it worked out pretty well. It looked nice, and uh, Joe Mino, editor of Brick Journal, came over. He was joking around with me and said, you should build a bald eagle next time. So here we have it. It took his advice, and it <laughs> turned out pretty well. Yeah, it's, it's really great looking here. So with a build like this, what was the most difficult part of putting this together? The hardest part of a bald eagle is the face because it's got that defined menacing look. It's like serious and it, the brow line was the hardest part. I would sit out there for hours trying to figure out the right combination of slopes to get it to work. But yeah, three slopes made it and it was the simplest answer to a complex problem. So that worked out pretty well. Okay. And I noticed down here, is this kind of some of your planning and sketching here? Yeah, I found a picture of the pose I want to do online, and then I googled the dimensions, wrote them down for like the wing length, height, beak width, that kind of thing. And for whatever I couldn't find, I used proportions and algebra to try to figure out dimensions I couldn't get, like the height of the head and the width of the neck. Yeah, that's really cool. So when you're uh, bringing this to a convention like Brick Fair, what's it travel like? The head is held on by two Technic pins, and the motor is in Technic axle. So I just pull the motor out and pull the pins out. The head comes off, and the beak comes off the front of the head. The wings come off, the body comes off, the tail comes off, and then the base is in two parts. Okay. Very nice. And can you show the moving parts there with that, and if you can control that? Sure. Yeah, i got to step over here because okay. it's a receiver. So the head goes back and forth, and uh, then the beak goes up and down with the IR remote. Looks great. Thanks for showing that to us. Appreciate it.